Peter Cost fires in town. City has storm is the milk and bread syndrome. Restaurants holding the bag and they're demanding some answers. The voice and the cadence of Robin McIntosh. Something else for you to be thankful for. Have marked thousands of stories on Eyewitness News. Robin McIntosh, CBS3, Eyewitness News. Robin began his broadcast career 40 years ago as a copy boy. In a 2005 anniversary special, you could hear the heart of the man. Obviously, many of these news stories are tragedies to report, and just watch the human spirit soar above the tragedy. Uh, that has been uh, something that's touched me throughout the years. And touched the rest of us with no story more challenging than 9-11. But right down at the end of the street, a reminder of the dark side of human nature. Robin broadcast from Manhattan for five days in the same clothes. He looked into the eyes of those who lost their loved ones and followed volunteers into the rubble so we could begin to wrap our minds around the unthinkable. Cheers continue to pour out of the mouths of New Yorkers, cheering for their heroes, helping them to survive. In the city or the suburbs, Robin has walked us all through fire. Three major fires in town in the past three months is just too much of a coincidence. And snowstorms. Go inside, take a break, and uh, we'll all get through this thing. Politicians and their election nights. Staying away from President Carter's coattails this election year. Parades and food fests, because TV news loves stories about food. A little cold pasta salad, some egg roll, and uh, I know I forgot something, a little pizza. Though not a slave to fashion, a trendy plaid jacket in the 70s was a showstopper. Then again, with Scottish roots, Robin always had a thing for plaid. But it's the gear of a street reporter, a jacket, a pair of boots, and a cell phone that fit Robin like a glove. With me right now is Jim Davis. He's been out here since what time, Jimmy? Four o'clock yesterday afternoon. Lancaster County attracts three to five. Robin earned an Emmy for a piece that opened the door on Amish family life in Lancaster County. And family life is something Robin understands so well. Then a dad of three young ones on Father's Day. They can't resist. <laughs> 40 years is a long time to have the Philadelphia region as your beat. For Robin McIntosh, a reporter's reporter, thanks for giving us a front row seat to our world. Happy New Year from Robin McIntosh, KMW3, Eyewitness News. Please welcome Robin McIntosh into the Broadcast Pioneers Hall of Fame. Unlike Cecily, I don't feel too young to be up here. My question is, what took you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> when you get to be my age, you tend to uh, ramble a lot, so I have some notes here. When I retired from Channel 3 four years ago, they had a little going away uh, ceremony for me in the newsroom. And I repeated to all those young faces a lesson that I learned at Temple University from a guy who taught me at Temple, a guy named Lou Klein. Lou Klein told me, you can't make television by yourself. And I said to these kids standing around me in the newsroom, you can't make TV by yourself. And then I said thank you to everyone who would help me during my 40 years at Channel 3 and at KYW Radio. I thank the cameramen who went through the heat and the cold out there in the sometimes mean streets of Philadelphia with me all the time. I said thank you to them. I, th I said thank you to the producers who uh, would give me the extra 10 seconds to tell the story that I said I just have to have that 10 seconds to tell this story properly. And then I thanked the producers who didn't give me the 10 seconds because they said, you know, Mac, you can do that in less time and, try, you know, squeeze it in. And I did. And then I thanked the uh, editors who uh, got a package with uh, nine minutes to air and finished it with uh, literally seconds to spare. You can't make television by yourself. And I thanked them and tonight I thank them again. It takes teamwork, it takes patience, it takes support. And of course I'm talking about my wife of 40 years, Barbara McIntosh. I will repeat what Beasley said and what some of the others said. She was the one at home on weekends when I was working Saturdays doing live shots at that five alarm fire in Kensington. She was the one who had to show up at social engagements, including to the year 2000, while I was in some nice lady's house up in North Philadelphia waiting for gunshots to go off to celebrate the New Year's. She was there by herself for the millennium. 
I thanked her. I thank her every day. And oh, by the way, she wasn't just sitting at home. For 40 years, she taught high school. She taught uh, 25 kids, 30 kids at a time, one hour at a time. And while I was doing live shots, she was actually doing live shots in a classroom, entertaining 25 teenagers for an hour at a time. I was doing live shots. She was doing real life. That's my wife, Barbara. So tonight, actually, there's a story I always tell people. After four years of being retired, people still come up to me all the time and go, Robin McIntosh. I go, yeah, Channel 3. They go, no, no, I had your wife for English. <laughs> My favorite story, and it is very, very true. So tonight, this Hall of Famer would like to thank the broadcast pioneers, and I would like to personally thank my Hall of Famer, my wife of 40 years, the mother of three children, and now the grandmother of three great, grand, or not great, grandchildren. But uh, it's been a team effort all the way. You can't make television by yourself, and I want to thank you, Mrs. McIntosh.